Well, Andrew and Sarah are still together, and it's been you know a few months now, and I'm very glad that things are working out for them. It's so awesome to see my son happy. I can tell that he's happy. He's actually with a girlfriend in the real world, not on the internet and long distance. That's what he's been used to. And so, you know, they, it seems that they work great together. And uh, it's awesome to get to see Sarah anytime, you know, they come over. I've seen I've seen her quite a bit, but I actually haven't still got to sit down and actually, well, no, we did. I guess uh, out the, uh, we had a campfire out there, and uh, uh, I got to talk to her about, you know, her past, because I've always wondered about what she's done and all that. I've known her for six years. <laughs> six years. She's my number one subscriber from YouTube, and she's always been there through the, through the good and the bad and so it's so weird that I fantasized about her being here and getting to hang out and then it happened you know like last night we went to Topeka and I did some shopping and stuff I need some stuff for for the car some testers and stuff like that and uh, it's just cool to see her you know and get to talk to her and she is funny our sense of humor is perfect I'm telling you perfect oh my god she really cracks me up and I, I love that um, she's smart a hard worker she is exactly what I thought she would be I, and, and more but I really I profiled her you know from a long distance you know but I'd known her long enough and I talked to her off and on for that six you know through that that six years and uh, I was right some people can, I knew a person for a whole year, talking to them every day. And then when I went to meet them, they were not what they seemed to be. They were more than what I thought. I mean, this person was a good person and stuff like that. But they were, there was some surprises, you know, that was beyond how, what I could handle, you know. And that was actually a relationship. Okay, you don't. You really don't know anybody until you actually meet them and hang out with them and stuff. And so I'm glad that I was right, you know. And uh, I hope that they stay together for forever. I really do. And uh, I hope they have kids. That'd be awesome. Because so far I'm, I haven't been a grandpa yet. None of my kids have had any kids, um, except for my stepdaughter, you know, Crystal, which I don't call her myself. I say daughter. So yeah, okay. But I, you know, I raised her for the eight years. So. Okay, so I've had one child, but not blood. You know what I mean? And she's on her second child now. She's having a boy this time. So, so there you go. And they're working. Both of them are working, Sarah and Andrew. And, uh, you know, they're they're doing good. I, I can't wait till they uh, move out on their own. Right now, they're living with, uh, with my other son, Stephen. So I can't, and his girlfriend. I'm not sure if she's there all the time, his girlfriend. But um, she's there a lot. So, you know, he doesn't feel, it's, it's completely different when you move out on your own. You have your own place. You can do whatever you want. And uh, I like to see that for them. All right. That's it on this. You guys have a good one. Take care. And God bless.